Hi guys, so welcome to 2016. So today I just wanted to talk about some of my 2015 favourites. So I've got a list on my phone because it's quite a big list. So first I want to talk about my favourite movies this year. And I've seen quite a few movies because, you know, we regularly go to the movies. But my top favourites were, were Jurassic Park and Cinderella. So with Jurassic Park, I used to love the old movies, so when I saw this I got excited. Yes, there were many mistakes in it, but I really don't care. I love the movie and I don't care what anybody else thinks. In Cinderella, I think they did it so well. I've got it on DVD already, I think. And it's just, it was done just really, really well. I don't know what more to say. So next I want to talk about my favourite TV series. So. I'm pretty sure everybody's got this as a favourite, but it is Game of Thrones, and I am still following it. I am a bit behind, but there's nothing wrong with that. I will catch up. I am enjoying it so much. It's addictive. And I've been watching the Game of Thrones Telltale game too, and you guys need to play that. It is so good. And in that game, you can just make any choice. You know, it just, it's all about choices, and yeah. So another program I've been enjoying is iZombie and I th I'm not sure where else they view it but over here in New Zealand we've got it on one of our channels and I'm enjoying that. It's not like a top top favourite but I don't watch a lot of TV so this is one of the TV shows I do watch. So basically, I, no spoilers, it's just about zombies but the more human they can control themselves and the girl... She's a New Zealand actor and she hides her accent so well. And to keep herself from going like zombified, she's got to eat brains. So she got a job working like as a, oh, I can't think of what it's called. One of those people that sort of do autopsies and figure out what happened to the bodies and that sort of thing. And that's how she gets her brains so she doesn't go blah. Anyway, it's really cool. And yeah. <clears throat> and since getting Tropical Fish again, I've really been enjoying the TV show Tanked. Um, it's just so cool to see what kind of, you know, fish people get. Would like to see a lot more, you know, freshwater fish instead of just saltwater fish, but yeah. Um, so, favourite music of this year, and I'm pretty sure this is a favourite from everybody, is Hello by Adele. And I've really been enjoying that. I haven't listened to it too much, because again, I don't listen to a lot of music, so I don't have a lot of favourites, but it has been a brilliant song. Um, I like also been listening to Love Me Like You by Little Mix, which I didn't even know who it was by until I like just looked it up because I don't really pay attention to who sings it. So yeah, and the last song that really had me this year was a Photograph by Ed Sheeran, and I love his music. Like he's probably the one person I'd want to go to a concert by. Um, as well as that, this year I've been really enjoying like vlog channels on YouTube and Shannon's vlog channel, ShannonXO, I've just been addicted to ever since she started daily vlogging and also really been enjoying the Sakoni Jollies, it's such a family environment and the kids are so sweet and the little girl just reminds me of myself when I was her age. And last but not least, it's not a vlog channel but it is a DIY channel, this is Law DIY and she does the best DIYs and she's so good in her videos, like, just on point. My fave products this year has certainly been this, the Freeman Golden Green Mask. I found it really helped with my breakouts and I haven't had it too long, I've had it maybe four months. And I know it says for dry skin, but because it's got vitamin C in it, it's really good for, like, acne and that sort of thing. Um, ever since, as well as that, ever since I got my contacts, things have gotten a lot easier for me makeup wise and I just dropped them and I just don't have to wear glasses all the time which is brilliant. Um, my fave perfume and this is going to always be my fave is Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs, it just smells so good. This is my second bottle, my first bottle is in my handbag where it lives and I just love this perfume, it is the best guys need it. It's been, uh, I've had this one for about a year, this Christmas now, um, I've got it for last Christmas, same with my other one, I brought it. Um, what else? Of course my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade has been our favourite, 
and for a while I was having a lot of trouble getting my lashes on. I was using Duo, it smelt, it just didn't stick very well until I found this Adele brush on lash adhesive and it's made things so much easier. Um, I can actually apply my lashes properly now and yeah and last but not least of my beauty stuff are these Chi Chi sponges. I've been loving them to apply my makeup with. Um, sorry they're a bit grotty but they have been the best thing ever. Um, God. Yeah, they're a little bit grubby. I brought a second one because I thought, oh yeah, I'll swap them out. I'll clean one, use the other, clean one, use the other. No, it didn't work. That didn't last very long. Um, so, I think last but not least, favourite moments of 2015. So, definitely when I had purple hair and I'll insert a picture somewhere. And I really enjoyed my trip to Raglan. I honestly can't think of anything else this year that really stood out to me. Um, oh, and... One other thing that I've completely forgotten, um, modelling in the Oversew, which was awesome and I want to do it again next year, I mean sorry, this year, and yeah, I'll see if I can find a picture of that or I'll link you to the Oversew YouTube so you can see me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my 2015 favourites. So I want to hear what your 2015 favourites, so comment down below and let me know what they are. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, so now that November is over, um, I thought yet again I would share with you my monthly favourites. So yeah, so I've got a few different...